I was not recording then. Here I am recording now. So what you asked, uh, so this is a file that I am just gonna delete all of these moves. Okay, so we now have a little bit of what you're starting with, except that this is not on the other side. So I selected it. And if you notice, you can either select this way and only get a part of it, the yellow. And so right now, doing this, you get both of those, doing that, you get everything. So, or you can go this way and select the whole piece of everything. So press M for move. And now the other part, if you'll notice that the origin, that is the origin or pivot. So we can move the pivot. Now we're moving over here. So this is where we want to end up. So I can set the pivot right here, just as an example, press the check mark. And we need to unselect those bodies and move it so I can slide this back and forth along that axis and press that face. But if you'll notice, it's snapping over here. The other thing is, is we're not creating a copy yet, which we need to do that. Um, so we'll go ahead and select that. Oops. Move, and it's, oh, there we go. That was selected, select pivot. So we're gonna go on the corner. Now, rather than in this corner, because it'll move it in negative five, we're gonna set the pivot here. There we go. So now we'll move it along this axis and then you can move it further along, whatever. What you're doing is you're letting Fusion know where you're snapping it. Then we'll click the face and it is now there. Now, then we'll go and select this whole entire body, so the, the middle pieces, the ones that you're mainly concerned about. And we're gonna select our pivot, and I'm gonna select the top pivot. This is just, there's something that I was trying to do earlier, and we're gonna see if this works. But the main thing that you're concerned about is setting this top face with that top face. So I set a pivot, select and move up and up and down, select, no, select move up and down, okay, there we go, now it's selecting the face, okay, so now that's matched to there, and now we're going to go ahead and do a few things, we, there we go, so we're going to create a copy, and we're going to move this copy down, we're going to set our pivot as, oh, this bottom face. There we go. Okay. So we're going to move it down. Oh, zero. You have to click that check mark. So we're going to move it down, and then we're going to move it here. Now, press OK. So now, there's something else. You can put you can make your copy to do some pretty neat math tricks. So let's move that pivot to the top, somewhere along the top, it doesn't matter where. And then we're gonna move it up and down. We're gonna select the very top. So right now this is exactly in your top one. And then up here you can go divide by two. And now it's in the middle. Or divide by three, and it's up here. Um, and you'd need to do some other math to put it right there, but whatever, you divide by two. Okay, it's done. So now these are all placed and you can move them around. And, and the, the key here is the selection tools. So how you select is really important. And, um, and then also, um, yeah, there's something else, I forget, oh yeah. Um, so the other thing that I did is I used one sketch for all of this. So this distance right here is D2 times 2. This is D2 right here, so it's 5 millimeters. Now this sketch right here, which is the, uh, the height or the width of that, is connected to this. 
So I could change this to six and they all change. Now I could, I could make this reliant on that somehow, but I'm, I'm not. Um, but let's make this 10. And so all of those changed in a sketch. And if you'll notice, everything changed, but there were some different weird errors with the move command. And there are some things that I don't understand with that that would need to change. But uh, there you go. Um, oh, whenever you're, if you're trying to do this trick, so you have your parameter, click the parameter that you're trying to clone, and then add whatever command to the end of it if you want to have a command. But uh, yeah, so uh, there you go, your bench thingies. Um, yeah, I'll upload this and uh, hopefully it helps you out.